Hey, welcome back. My name is Al, and I just need to remind you that this is not a comprehensive what every single button and click does. This is just the things that I use most often to help you get going up to speed. You don't need to know everything. Today we're talking about the gizmo, not the gremlins, the gizmo. So we have draw mode, we have move, scale, rotate. You don't need scale and rotate because as soon as you press move or W, you get the gizmo. This thing is called the gizmo and Q or pressing draw gets us back to sculpt mode. For example, I can sculpt, 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 sculpt. I can press W and then this allows me to one move, rotate and scale my sub tool, whichever sub tool I'm on. So if I would like to switch to a sub tool, hold alt. Now I'm on the new sub tool. I can do the same things over here. Now we can move a couple different ways. We can move along the axes. So I can just adjust this face. I could move this way or this way. This is basically based on our camera. If my camera is straight in front of the character, moving left and right would be very synonymous with the X and the Y, but it's based on the camera. You have these rings. This all makes sense. If you've done any 3D software anywhere, we can just rotate along this axis. So when you're rotating in particular, we're gonna hover over this red axis, hold shift, and then you'll notice this little number that pops up right down here, snapping in 15 degree increments. If I don't press shift, it's just a free kind of rotate along that axis. And then this white ring is just rotating also based on my camera view, kind of like moving based on my camera view. Next up, we have our scale. We can scale uniformly, which would be this yellow square in the middle. Or if you grab the blue, green, or red, we can scale along certain axes. This is the primary function of the gizmo. It is just to move it around. Now, if for whatever reason, you get something that looks like this, we're not covering this yet. This is how things used to work inside of ZBrush. You might not even use it ever. So if you get there, just press this button. This turns on the gizmo or it's Y on your keyboard. Now, there's lots of things you can do with a gizmo. One of them is unlock. Press this unlock and you'll notice that you can no longer move, rotate, or scale. So what you can do instead is with it unlocked, you can now pick a new pivot point. Notice I don't have symmetry turned on on this one. Relock the padlock, and then this is my new pivot point. So maybe a more practical example would be, let's unlock it, let's move this way back here, kind of like where the jaw would be connected. Let's lock it. And now I've got a little better rotation to possibly get this into a better position. You don't actually ever have to unlock this. You can just hold alt. You'll notice some instructions down at the bottom. So if I hold alt anywhere, it is just going to unlock. So I'm pressing alt, it's unlocking, and then I can just move this around. So if I hold alt and then kind of get away from the gizmo and just kind of sculpt on the gizmo, so to speak, so left click and drag, you'll notice that I can just drag this wherever I want. Now, this is kind of helpful if you would like this gizmo to be oriented, like let's say with this ear. This ear is kind of at a funky angle. So if I were to unlock this, I could come in here, line that up and kind of eyeball this axis to align this to the ear. But what I can do instead, just hold Alt and then I am going to drag across the ear and you'll see that this is lined up. So let's say this angle right here, for whatever reason, I would like this slope to be lined up. I'm gonna hold Alt, drag, and now you can see that this gizmo is lined up right there along that surface. With this unlocked, you can reset the orientation. If I were to do that with it locked, it's just gonna turn the whole thing. So I can reset it. I can also go to unmasked mesh center. So I can just throw it back in the middle. That's great. Let's lock it back up, mesh center. So some cool things that we can do within the gizmo. We can do all kinds of different deformations. Let's take a look at some of those. Uh, let me drop in a sphere real quick, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a Z remesh on the sphere just so we can get some better polygons. Okay, so I can press the gear, and then let's start with bend arc. This one is a lot of fun. So we've got lots of different controls here. If you hover over it, it tells you what they are. The most important ones in this are the green ones. So the green ones are actually going to bend these. So I can bend along this axis or this way. Changing the orange is just twist amount, and then the white would be how much of a radius that this uh, this bend has. So if I just pull the screen down and change the white one, there we go. You can see that I can increase or decrease this radius. When I have something that I like, I can just hit accept, or you know, if I don't like it, I can just reset, and now I'm back to normal. Let's do a an extender. Extender is nice because I can just extend this object, this sphere, and now I get really bad geometry. So let's do a Z remesh on this thing to get myself better geometry. And you'll notice since I did that 
I don't have accept or reset or anything anymore. But now let's do a bend curve. Bend curve, you'll notice I have this dot and this dot. Not super cool yet. Let's actually increase this resolution. So I can pull this and I have more dots. Now, what does that mean? I can then grab these and adjust. So let's let's back up slightly. Let's say I'm making a new mustache for this guy. We're just gonna hide this one. So let's press W, use the gizmo, move this into position. And this is gonna be his awesome new mustache. So I'm gonna press the gear. Let's do bend curve. And now I have this controls that I can adjust, move these where I want. So let's actually have something like this. And once I kind of have something I like, I can then increase the resolution. So don't start with just a ton of these because then it's just like a pain in the butt to adjust. So start low and then we can add more. And let's actually make this like kind of curl around. Oh yeah, look at that massive mustache. So I'm just giving myself more resolution. That way I can do a little bit more with this. Lovely. I would then say, yep, I like this side. I'm not really worried about the other side. I didn't have symmetry on or anything. So let's press W, grab the gear again. We'll accept this. That's good. In my case, I am going to hold control. Let's go to drag rectangle because I am going to grab roughly half of those. Hold control outside of my mesh, invert. Let's go to visibility, hide points. So I hid those. Let's go to geometry, modify topology, delete hidden. Now I can mirror and weld, and now I've got the same thing on both sides. That's a lot of steps. I've made a previous video on like doing custom UIs because even just doing visibility, hide points, geometry, modified topology, delete, hidden, mirror and weld, it's just too much. So go watch that video. So you're just gonna have to play around, figure out which ones you like, lots of fun things that you can do with the gizmo.